so guys good morning it's thursday the 12th of august um so pretty much today is going to be like day two of my parking process my moving my relocation everything in between so yesterday we were able to achieve a lot of things and i'm so thankful and grateful for that um yesterday i received like a box from my ex company see the way i'm calling them ex doesn't make sense but i received a box from them so i need to call them back because the idea of that box was for me to like add every equipment into the box and ship it back to them but the box that i received were just so tiny cannot even accommodate like three of the boxes that i have like i have let me show you the boxes for them this is it right so these are the things i'm shipping back to them except for this this is trash so i need to call them and let them know that i need a bigger box and have them fix that i don't know i'll just explain to them that i can actually ship these things like this i just need different um like you know return labels or something to add on each of the boxes and then ship it so i'll find out what they want and that'll be it then the major thing i'll be doing today is working on my closet so that's the only thing left if i'm being honest the major thing left so i'm just going to bring out everything in that closet arrange them and keep some items in like one box because i'm foreseeing a situation where i would have to move and get to the city maybe stay in another accommodation before my accommodation is ready and ship most of my things down now talking about accommodation it's been crazy and i think i would also you know take you guys along my accommodation or apartment hunting experience you know in a different city so i should be tagged the queen of relocation because i've moved like one two three times right now and the experience you know i learned different things um every single time so i don't know if I'll, I'll be able to like show you guys like apartment tours but even if i'm not able to because i think i might even have to apply before seeing these apartments all i've been doing is like um virtual tours and you know how virtual tours are so i really want you people to like have that experience of like my actual in-person apartment tour that we have on my channel so i'll try to do that but if i can't when i get to my my destination i'll try to do a couple so you guys can uh, you know have an idea what it's like um so that's pretty much all i'm going to do today i'm also going to be working remember my second job I'm, I'm still working and guys this is the point where i say what city or state do you think i'm relocating to this time let me know in the comments um the winner is going to get a um ten dollar gift card so yeah let's see who who's going to win it this time so that's pretty much it if there's anything else i'll just you know come and update you guys but that's it for now right now i'm just gonna go ahead and continue with my see i'm trying to like i'm still apartment hunting everything looking at you know like the floor plans it's been crazy Let's see one together. I think you like it. Oh, it's not even available. The ones I'm seeing, you see the price range is like 1500 plus, 1700 plus and all of that. So it's crazy, but I'll do a different video for that. But I just wanted you to have an idea of what's going on right now. So yeah, on that note, I'll see you guys and So guys um i don't know if you saw what i was doing earlier but i was actually taking some virtual tours of apartments that i am 
considering right um, I saw this one I kind of like it but I didn't really see the washer and dryer when I was you know trying to watch the virtual tour um, so I'm thinking um, I should just call them so I can know more about the apartment and also know when the apartment will be available because one issue I've been having so far is just finding the right apartment given my like my moving date as well my moving date I intend to move in like two weeks from now less than two weeks from now and I'm seeing apartments like one to two months from now so I'm in a very serious fix right now like I don't know what to do but let me just make the call and then I'll get back to what I'm supposed to do so can you hear me um, so I'm calling because I wanted to find out if you have a one bed for an immediate move in. Uh, yeah, we do have a one bed for immediate move in. Um, so what's what is that unit like? Is this Valine? Yeah, this is Valine. Hey Valine, how are you? Yeah, I sent you um I sent you uh, pictures and then I sent you I think a video tour on that. I one. didn't see the video. It was on your phone. On my phone? Oh. I don't think I'm liking the service I'm getting here. I, like, it's just so stressful. Oh, next to their plan, there's that little, the three horizontal lines as a menu. Where's that? Why am I not seeing it? It's in the middle of in the middle of the page. It's, it's highlighted on your front. Your front is far down. Guys, let me tell you what has happened. I don't know, but I didn't realize that. I mean, I know that apartment hunting is a, a lot of work um, because, I mean, I've moved considerably for like two, th no, th within Birmingham, I've moved like three times. No, four times. I moved into my first apartment with that roommate. Remember I had that roommate ish, so watch the video if you haven't already. So I moved from there and then I moved into my friend's apartment when you know it was it became unsafe. Um so that's the second time. The third time I moved into my own personal space and it didn't also go well because I was lied to by the person who was occupying the space. And then I had to now move from there to my final space where I lived for like over a year. I mean, you guys have seen that apartment. So that's four times within Birmingham. And finally in December, 2020, I moved from Birmingham to Texas. That's five times. So now moving, I'm changing locations, guys. And I don't want to spill out the tea yet so i keep saying let me know what your thoughts are the city the state wherever you think that i'm going to just let me know so i've known that it's a very difficult thing apartment hunting all of those things it's been a hassle but i didn't realize i'm going to be experiencing these things that i'm experiencing all over again like every experience is different it doesn't change anything but long and short is i was finally able to apply to that apartment remember i was having issues difficulties here and there they even had to jump on a zoom um call with me just so that they can help me out and finally discovered that yes i wasn't crazy i was actually having a lot of issues i tried two computers it didn't work and then i finally was able to do it with my phone um so yeah i've applied to that one and then i also like called the other apartment that i applied to yesterday and funny enough they just sent me an email so i think i'm going to apply to another ap apartment again that would be three apartments then I would by Friday I should have like a clear picture as to which apartments I'm going to go for I think I already have like um, my favorite right now but I just want to like you know I know these things cost money like with each application you're paying money and even if you decide to like apply to 10 um, apartments and go with one you all the money you spend applying to those um, you know apartments you lose them they will not give you that money back so that's why you know the more the merrier but it, it has its own like you know disadvantage because you're losing money at the end of the day but i'm just thinking i should limit my applications to maybe three to five and yeah see what happens by friday i should have like a clear picture which apartment i'm going for i already know i don't want to tell you guys what i feel but i already know um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead to um go to my my bedroom right now and fix my wardrobe because that was my goal for today but i haven't done anything because i didn't realize that this whole thing was going to take me the whole day and yeah so that's what we're doing um so you see me in my bedroom and 
we'll take it from there if anything else happens i'll let you know but for now i don't know if you're enjoying this but just know that we're moving and it's always going to be like that don't worry you start getting the better better vlogs very soon but for the meantime subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in a bit bye guys so guys i forgot this is the box that i received and this is what is expected like this is what they're expecting me to um you know house everything all my equipment and send back to them this is not going to work it's very tiny i mean i've shown you guys like video or what i'm going to be sending back because i have like two computers one laptop uh, my docking station my keyboard all of those things so yeah this will not be enough but then i received like a note that says that if it's not enough i should call them so i'm just going to go ahead and call them and let them know that this wouldn't be enough so that they can do something about it and then i'll take you from there so yeah i just wanted to update you guys on that so bye guys for questions, how-to information, or procedures related to retail applications, press 2. For assistance with an ATM, press 3. To speak with the help desk analyst, press 0. I don't know that part, but I love this song. I love this song, guys. So today is when no, what is wrong with me? Today is Friday, the the thirteenth of August. <laughs> yesterday, I don't know what we did, but I just know yesterday was very tasking i was trying to find myself an apartment and trying to arrange things but today i'm going to be returning my office gear so i'll take you along i'm also going to the bank to make withdrawals i'll take you along and then i think i'll, I'll be filming today two videos um and those videos will go up before this one so i don't know i'm just i don't know but I, i'm thinking i should just go and shower then do my makeup and get ready to film before stepping out of the house if that makes sense but the reason why i might not film now is because i want to use more of natural light so i think i might just go to the bank and quickly go um return my things um so yeah i need to get that done i think that's pretty much what i'm going to do today if there's anything else you guys will see it in the vlog all right bye guys so guys i still don't know if this is my color like i can't tell i don't know why which is strange i think it's because i don't know this is my color this is the i'll put the shade on the brand on the screen but right now I'm not sure. I just need to be sure because if it's not, I need to return it fast. <laughs> Don't have money to waste. Birthdays. Ooh. Yoga. Yoga.
so guys this is the final look I don't know how it looks right now but you can tell me I still cannot like I don't know if this is still my my perfect match so maybe I'll try two three no two times more and then decide if I should keep it or take it back I feel like something is missing well this is not like my normal um, full blast makeup this is just me trying to rush it up and then I'm also I need to leave like right now so yeah I think tomorrow I'll try the other one and then see which one is better and you know keep that one but yeah guys I need to leave right now to return some things and go to the bank and I'll be back soon oh it looks different here Oh my god I don't know if you guys can figure out the difference but I have my lightning set up here so that's why Give me love Give me all your love Oh cause I want you No one else makes me feel this way Don't know what you so guys, I am right here at Wells Fargo, um, so I'm at the bank, in case you don't know what Wells Fargo is or <laughs> what I'm talking about, I'm at the bank and I'm going to go in there and make some withdrawals and once I'm done, I'll proceed to um, return my my um, work machine, everything, the equipment, everything on there and that will be it for today. I don't know if this is the first time you're seeing me driving but yeah your girl can drive now and if you have not seen my video, my driving experience or everything about getting my driver's license here in the US then hopefully you see it very soon because I tried as much as possible to document the whole process so I'm excited but if you've seen my driving video before this vlog then I mean, you'll see me driving again, which is going to be like a normal thing moving forward. Hopefully, if God blesses your girl with a car, because this car is not my own. Before you now say, ah, Valley, you bought a car, you did not tell us. It's not my car. You hear me? Uh huh. So, um, I'm just going to go into the bank now, withdraw, and that'll be it for today. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I met an old man. I said, Tell me your story. He took out an old pen and wrote something for me. So he's gonna be here. This is what he's gonna feel. And I watched him dance. And I thought I'd just seen a ghost. Then I looked down at what he wrote. He said, Son, when you grow up, you'll be fine. Now you've got questions on your mind. Life is gonna happen one way or the other. By where Nigeria are you from? Oh, you're from Yoruba. All right, thank you. I'm Delta. Yeah. All right, bye. Hello. I want to post at some point. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Alright. Bye. So guys, we're done. On to the next thing. 
so guys i'm trying to get an apartment i don't know if you are aware but i've been talking about yesterday i had some issues with applying and finally it went through today i was called that so many stories back and forth like they have to reach out to like my previous leasing agency that i lived with in birmingham and find out like my rental history to verify if i'm like a good tenant for them to be able to approve my you know my application and all of that so it the, so the i think the issue with with everything the call is the fact that yesterday we said something and agreed only for me to get like hear about it again today and the price has changed I'm like how come the price did not change yesterday yesterday the price changed like three times and today again I'm told that the price has also increased from like I'm like what's going on here so I got really frustrated I'm like I'm not feeling I don't think you people I, I don't feel comfortable and why would I want to move into a community where I don't feel comfortable or accepted and everything but they were able to like try to resolve the issue issue and get me to like reach out so it's i'll give you guys the lowdown later shall but enough of the rant right now i'm going to um um fedex because i need to ship my equipment back and that'll be it i don't even know where that is right now but i'm just going to try let me put in the put this in on google maps you know and we can easily get there walgreens near me What's the email that you sent? What's the email address I can she literally just replied me? Okay, okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Okay, you got it. So guys, this is Saturday. <laughs> Saturday the I think the 14th of August. Um and I just no, I woke up since 2 a.m. I don't know for some reason I couldn't sleep. Um, so I've been online doing other stuff. I just could not sleep and the time now is like past 9 a.m. So that's what has been happening, but I'm just gonna go ahead to like um, sweep the whole house and mop then Get ready because I have class by 12 and That'll be it for today. Oh, yeah, I need to edit some videos and I also need to I also need to send out a newsletter to the people, my US student only group. So in case you are a current international student, I have a community dedicated to just current students in the United States of America. Check the link in my bio in the description so that you can join that group where you will get like tailored posts to everything about your study abroad journey and you can connect with other um, current international students as well, ask questions, you know, get to know each other, collaborate so that money can be reduced in terms of like Netflix, you know, all these um, plagiarism sites and all of that. So yeah, that's one of the things I need to do today. Then I've been having issues with my interviews that I filmed on Zoom. Whenever I try to import it into my um, editing software, it doesn't import and that's new because I've been doing, I mean, you guys have seen a lot of my videos here, um, interview videos, but this one, I don't know what the issue is. So I have like five interviews with different persons that I haven't been able to like edit because of that issue. So I'm going to try or dedicate um, my time today to um, finding a way to solve that problem and I'll let you guys no, but yeah, that's all that's going to happen today. I, I need to also take the things, the gear or oh, my, my computer that I was to return yesterday. It didn't work out. So 
Remember that box that they sent to me? It was just too small. When I called them, they said when I get there, they will do it for me. When I got there, they said they cannot do it. There's nothing. They could not even print the label out. So I need to take it to a different location. I'll do that as well today and I'll try to carry you guys along. But yeah, that's all that's going to happen today and I'll see you guys in a bit. And also, I'm going to be apartment hunting as well. So yeah, my hand hurts. God. Ignore my hair, guys. Nobody, 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 Hey, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> it's Saturday. No, it's Sunday on the 15th of August. And yeah, I know the last time we talked, it was Thursday or maybe Friday, yeah. I couldn't film yesterday, I had so much going on. Um, so today I'm just going to, I need to send out a newsletter to my USA students only community. What else am I going to do? I thought I had everything figured out until I turned the camera on and now it seems like everything is not in my head anymore. But I also know that I'm still trying to figure out how to solve the problem I'm having with my Zoom interviews. Yes, another thing that I have to know is that um, yesterday I received an email that my rental application was approved. So I went ahead and signed the lease. So yes, I already have an apartment and where I'm relocating to and that makes me happy. So right now I'm in the phase of trying to you know, set everything up, gas and everything before my moving date. Also try to start like you know documenting things that i want to get for the apartment as you know in my vlog when i was moving from birmingham to texas i give out everything i i had in terms of like furniture if you have not seen that video click here or just search through my um, playlist or my channel and you see that video so right now that i'm relocating to a different place i don't have any of these items anymore i mean if i even move there like let's say next week I'm not going to have a bed to sleep on or any cooking utensil, anything. I'm just going to sleep on the floor till I'm able to like get things into the apartment. So I need to start figuring that out. And I have Monday to ensure that that is done because my moving date is on the 16th and today is the 15th. So I literally have just tomorrow to ensure that I set these things up and you know move in when i want to move in you, you guys will see that as well um i also need to sign up for a class i have to call my sister to help me make that payment because i want her to be the one to pay in naira versus me paying in dollars because i think it's cheaper for me i don't know why people like when they are making like if i don't know they just increase the price for uh, in dollars in terms of like if the price were to be 10,000 naira give me the dollar equivalent of that price and ask me to pay why ask me to pay something more more than ten thousand uh, dollars more than ten thousand naira for something that everybody is going to um, be paying the same amount just because i'm in the u.s i don't understand so yeah instead of paying more in dollars i'll just ask my sister to help me pay the naira equivalent which i feel i mean i need to save some money right here after all i'm moving and i need a lot of money So guys, the time is 1 p.m. and I've been here all morning. I'm still working on the newsletter that I'm supposed to send out today. So you see how long it takes me to even draft out a newsletter I'm sending to you guys. I've been doing this for more than three hours now. I'm still on it. So it takes a lot of work, you know, thoughts like, you know, research and everything to craft something good for you. Um, I just think I'll go ahead to like, because today is the eviction night for Big Brother Nigeria Africa. If you are in Nigeria, you know that this is big in Nigeria. So I'm just going to quickly watch the show for like an hour. And I think I'll be watching the show at the same time, trying to complete like my email that I'm sending out because I'm like 80% done so I'll be multitasking then hopefully in the next one to two hours I should be done and that email will be sent so if you're a current international student and you've signed up to that um, private group then you get the email today as we speak Harry my leave
I knew it. She didn't have enough fun. So guys, I am done sending out that newsletter. It took a while. I didn't expect it to take that long, but I was able to get it done um, and I sent it out already. Um, so that worked because I had some issues, but yeah. And also I got distracted from the Big Brother show. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take a shower and yeah, I remember what I wanted to do. Remember when I was um, starting, at some point I was like, I can't remember the things I wanted to do. So I remember that I need to edit the, a video that I will be uploading tomorrow. So the video for tomorrow, I have to edit it today. So that's pretty much the last thing I'll do and then end this vlog here. All right, so I will go ahead and take the shower once I'm done, get something to eat because I haven't had breakfast. So once I'm done eating, I'll edit the video and then pretty much maybe try researching how to fix the problem I'm having with my Zoom software on my Final Cut Pro editing software. So if you have any, I don't know, by the time you see this, I should probably have figured it out. But anyway, if you have an idea how to, um, so I filmed some interviews on Zoom and then when I'm trying to import it on my editing software, Final Cut Pro, it doesn't import. Um, so I don't know what the problem is. I think maybe the extension that it was saved in from the research I've done so far, that's what I keep seeing. But then I'm trying to convert a .pm4, um, a .mp4 file to a .mov file. So I'm looking for the software to use. I've tried a couple of softwares, but they are not working as well. So I don't know what else to do. So yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to help me before I figure it out on my own, but I'm just putting it out there just so you guys know. That's why I haven't uploaded um, my interviews on my channel, if you've noticed. Um, so that's it for now, guys. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you so much.